increase the powers over strategic planning, which will include a mayoral development corporation and mayoral development zones. Responsibility for an area review of uh, 16 plus skills provision, which is actually already underway. And joint responsibility to co design uh, employment support for residents facing complex barriers to their ability to find a uh, sustainable work in the city and region. We've been a lot on implementation, Chair, as, uh, as many in the, uh, in the chamber will, uh, will appreciate. And uh, I should take the opportunity to thank my colleagues actually for for the shed load of work and, and effort into uh, to our progress to date and in anticipation of uh, ongoing commitment to future uh, shed loads of work that we need to be done to get us to where we need to get to uh, over the coming months. Uh, work very closely with the local enterprise uh, partnership uh, and nursing travel indeed uh, and part of the outcome of that is um, on the, like, the LEP side is to produce a single growth strategy for the local city region which is uh, elsewhere on the agenda today. Uh, there's a landmark publication uh, produced by the two universities uh, on our behalf, Making the Most of Devolution, which was uh, published uh, in January, it seems quite a long time ago now, uh, but it's, it's very interesting, very relevant and very timely in terms of its analysis, analysis and commentary about where the uh, combined authority in the city region uh, was and where it's headed. Uh, further elements of devolution were then announced in the March 2016 government budget, signaling the future direction travel for some aspects of, uh, of ongoing uh, devolution discussions and uh, the implementation of that agreement is being driven by the Command Authority portfolio leads, uh, obviously in, in line with the arrangements in point in place. Uh, just a couple of slides on the individual component uh, parts in headlines, Chair. Transport, um, about 14 transport improvement schemes worth uh, more than £150 million pounds to address urgent highway transport issues across the city region. And I think it's, uh, it's right that uh, all areas of the, uh, the geography of the city region are benefiting from this transport uh, investment. And it's actually very important to recognise that fact. There's a scrutiny review of affordable transport being undertaken. Uh, we've reinforced consistently a very clear and coherent case for bringing high-speed rail, that's HS2, uh, to and from London. Uh, but also the east-west connectivity or HS3, as some people continue to refer to it as, uh, and we've put together a very uh, clear package, which has been well received by governments over recent months uh, in that space. And uh, special thanks to uh, to Mersey Travel for their work uh, on that particular agenda, because I think we've caught up a huge amount of, uh, of time and distance on that issue uh, to get ourselves uh, close to the envelope for HS2 and potentially. Our own partnership work with Transport for the North, obviously, and Rail North, uh, which will be an enhanced franchising uh, opportunities and potential for us going forward, and the agreement of the Full City Region Bus Strategy. Obviously, just some headlines on transport, there's a lot more work going on in that sphere. Uh, likewise, on economic development, it's very topical. Obviously, this is the, <coughs> end of the first week of the Liverpool uh, hosting the International Festival of Business. 2016 at the Exhibition Centre as part of the Arena Convention Centre. Um, anybody who's not had the opportunity to, uh, to uh, call in there uh, from the Command Authority uh, is very welcome to do so there. The left chair and myself that will be able to secure passes uh, in the work we're here today. The ongoing development of the single growth strategy as referenced uh, earlier. Continuing investment of growth deal funding, uh, including the International Investor of Business, which has received a fair amount of money. And there's one or two examples of uh, very high profile projects that are starting to uh, complete, uh, about to complete their appraisal process about to start on site, is what I was trying to say. Uh, successful bid for about £8 billion of ERDF to help local businesses to grow, uh, consistent with local growth that was referenced on the slide. And ongoing work towards intermediate body status to allow greater control and uh, inputs over the admin of how uh, the EU funding uh, is, uh, continues to be made available to us to add value to the economy of the city region. Employment and skills, uh, £21.5 million pounds into over 30 skills capital projects across the city region. They've been agreed as the years gone on and have uh, been implemented again as we speak. Agreements of skills for growth priorities for 2015-16, a very important piece of work in terms of being able to identify where skills are going to be required and where they're going to come from to allow us to achieve some of the potential that we've uh, set and some of the targets we've set for ourselves uh, arising from uh, the growth that we're looking to secure. Successful bid for £29 million of ESF, 
to improve access to employment and skills in residents. Uh, again, that's benefits in uh, all of the geographies of the uh, city region. The area-based review into further education that I mentioned earlier is, uh, is now ongoing and live uh, piece of work, very important piece of work. And I'll go and work with government to improve support for long-term unemployed residents to hopefully improve their circumstances and have outcomes for them. The housing and planning agreement to the statement of cooperation on strategic planning uh, and the protocols around how strategic planning should uh, take place across the people's city region. Again, it might not immediately strike you as the most important piece of work, but actually very important landmark for us to be able to coordinate strategic planning across the city region in a way that we've not been able to do uh, over recent years until very recently. Continue work to prepare for the development of the city region housing strategy and the city region spatial plan that follows the uh, and uh, we've commissioned evidence to establish needs for new housing and also employment language will come through the spatial plan uh, in, in uh, the fullness of time. And identification of key sites and schemes to drive forward future economic growth. Obviously, the detail behind those will come through over uh, the following months in terms of pipeline for development of uh, new some particular sites and so on. So, just to summarise, Chair, the groundbreaking devolution of dealing greed currently being implemented, a lot of work done, a lot of work still to do. Single investment fund worth uh, half a million pound over five years initially, and similar uh, stats on there uh, in terms of uh, what we've been up to uh, in the MCA context over the uh, past 12 months. And just to, uh, to finish, uh, I've got a public slide you haven't. So just to finish, it's to uh, reinforce the fact that um, we've made a good start. It's been slightly bumpy on occasions, but it's been very progressive, very constructive. And to reinforce my own personal thanks to my colleagues for all of their efforts and uh, support to allow us to get to where we have done so far, and in, in, in anticipation of a lot more work to do over the next months. Not to take any questions, Chair Brown. Okay, can we just leave that slide up for, for a second? I, I think on, on behalf of, uh, of, of the leaders uh, across the country, we'll also add our thanks and support to the officers across each portfolio. Um, who work extremely hard and uh, you know, quite challenging uh, in different circumstances, so i.e., you know, uh, capacity. Uh, there hasn't been a great deal of support here, and everybody's been uh, doing their own uh, jobs as well as trying to make this uh, deliver. And of course, we'll address that with the paper later on. But I think it's important, probably at this juncture, anyway, in terms of if we're, if we're talking about uh, you know progress being made. And if you just you know look at that slide for people out there who were saying uh, you know that we haven't negotiated uh, a, a really good devolution deal, then you know, those figures uh, speak for themselves. And I think <coughs> for me, uh, if you look at the transport issue and the growth fund, and now that's uh, permeated through in every district across the city region, every district across the city region, in terms of transport and projects, and then you look at the skills agenda, and it's also important, I think. And, you know, I know uh, the leaders of the city region uh, in terms of our also cognizance of the fact that how much the uh, European fund has helped in terms of if we look at you know, two figures that were, were there, uh, 8 million for ERDF in terms of um, as part of a project and also 29 million in terms of ESF funding for the area based skills review. And that absolutely uh, proves that you know, European money, European funding is still as important today to the Liverpool City region as it's ever it been. And I think that's evidence within that. But I, I, as I said, I, I just think for me, you know, that uh, offer that we have and that approach that we now have means that we can actually get on and deliver even more. And I think that is a good start that we describe, uh, uh, describe it as that. We're looking forward to uh, bigger and better improvements uh, in, the, in the next 12 months. Uh, any any comments from, from anybody else in, uh, around that? Anybody else want to make any, uh, any, any comments? Okay, shall we move on then to um, item six, yeah, um, which is basically uh, the authority for the plan. Yeah, I was going to add everything to the, uh, the report, Chair. Yeah, the um, it's a good practice, obviously, that the uh, plan authority uh, receives uh, that is. Uh, it's regular meetings and updates on what's coming forward in, uh, in terms of decision making and reports, and that's all the forms that was going to be Okay. Okay, so 
Okay, well, if, if there's any uh, comments on, 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 on that, on the forward plan or, or whatever, um, anyone wants to make any, any, any comments or just note that? Okay, right, do you? Okay, okay well, well if, if you like, that ends the uh, AGM. Um, and we now uh, move on to uh, the uh, full meeting itself. Um, so if we do, um, before, yeah, before I actually go on to that part, because we've uh, finished the, uh, the AGM and rather than move straight into uh, the formal part of the business, I think everybody uh, certainly uh, in this chamber will be deeply shocked and moved by uh, the events that happened uh, yesterday when Joe Cox tragically uh, killed uh, while doing her work and everybody on the back of what happened in Orlando to then, you know, within a, a week see those events unfold and yesterday I think just deeply shocked everybody um, and, you know, this was no more impressive to emphasise as what people in the public life should be in Joe Cox, she was a humanitarian, she done nothing in her life other than support and help others and so was uh, deeply shocking that our condolences and thoughts go uh, to her family. But can I ask that we uh, mark uh, a short mark of respect by a minute's silence? Can we agree those recommendations as set out in the report? 
So can we agree that recommendation then um, as set out uh, within the report, please? Okay, thank you. And then if we uh, move on, the next report is the apprenticeship grants for em employers. Um, and I uh, think Sue is going to um, take us on, on this one. It's uh, looking at the evolution of more funding for the city region. Uh, will be used to uh, uh, create apprenticeships for young people. Um, so it's uh, part of the, the development of the uh, apprenticeship grant from uh, from central government to help us fund uh, apprenticeships. Sue, do you want to make any comments? Yes, just briefly, Chair, just to make the point that the city region will have a good track record on apprentices and we've had 18,000 starts in the last year. We've got this additional money that's being devolved to the city region and the paper is really set about the design and support and the operational aspects we need to do. And what we want to do is get on with it quite quickly so we can capture all the school leavers and we can have starts in September. So we're nearly there with it and we're able to launch the scheme 
Okay, so it's a pretty, um, pretty clear uh, report, and um, I, I think it's the recommendations are, are also uh, pretty pragmatic. So, uh, can we agree those recommendations as set out on page 51, please? Yeah, please, I would agree with it. Okay, thank you. We <coughs> then uh, move on to item 14, which is the uh, the provided policy government review and scheme. And it's you know, to enable us to uh, transfer, uh, to accept the transfer and, and use the transfer of devolved resources. Um, and, and basically, we've had a, uh, a presentation on this, uh, and it's just for us to agree with the recommendations as set out in, in, in the report. Um, so, can I ask that we uh, do so, please? Can we agree on the recommendations as set out in the report? I think we've already uh, produced. Uh, on this day. Do you want to make any comments? Uh, uh, yes, it's a comprehensive report, as you say, Chair, and I think it speaks for itself. There is one request we would make to the combined authority. In the executive summary, it references the current governance arrangements and references the, the chair of the local enterprise partnership as a member of the combined authority. Uh, under the proposed arrangements, that doesn't change, but having reread the, the detail of the document, that's not as clear in the document itself, so we would like to uh, reflect that in a couple of minor amendments in the body of the document, uh, if members are, are comfortable with that, to restate that the position of the chair of the LEP doesn't change in terms of the future of the combined authorities governance arrangement. Okay, I don't think we've got any, any issues or any, any problems with that thing, but uh, Robert, you want to make a comment? Just, just, to, yeah, just to say thank you, David. I know that was always the intention and a great work for charity. Thank you very much. Okay, and, and uh, of course, uh, as can kind of agree the recommendation to say David, thank you for all the effort and work that you've put into, into this. Um, so, can we agree those recommendations uh, as set out, please? Um, that's fine. Uh, item 15 then is the uh, devolution of powers and resources to the city region. Uh, as part of preparing to implement the additional <coughs> powers and resources being devolved, we need to have the right capacity and executive capacity in place. And the report sets out how we're going to achieve this and how we can take it forward. Again, uh, we've had a uh, presentation on this um, and the recommendations are, are set out there on page 146. Of, of that report. Uh, can we agree those recommendations, please? Briefly. So if we uh, move on then to item 16, which is the um, uh, the Mersey Travel Committee, it's the minutes of, of the uh, Mersey Tra Travel Committee, which was held on the 3rd of March. Um, can we uh, confirm these minutes, please? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Um, Okay, um, we're moving to sort of part two, um, where part of this is going to be exempt, but if there are no uh, comments um, on it, then uh, I'm just going to ask for us to ratify and agree that particular uh, report. Um, it's the co-design uh, of back to work support, um, it's on 177. Uh, to 182 on your agenda, but if there are no comments, uh, then basically, if we can agree those uh, recommendations, then uh, basically there's no need to uh, dismiss the meeting. Okay, so no comments, so can we agree the recommendations that set out on the report on page 177 uh, of the report, please? Okay, thank you. So uh, there are no other uh, items or any urgent business on uh, this. But before I say about the um, Bind Authority uh, next meeting, uh, which I shall tell you in a minute, this is Robert Hope's last meeting, uh, and I would just uh, like to say, Robert, it's been, you know, for me, uh, a, a real pleasure to have you on uh, the Combined Authority Board, and of course, on the Local Enterprise Partnership. Um, four years, I think, yes, it is. all ages yes. together. If there was a minute here, I'd say some more than others. But, uh, <laughs> but, but clearly, you know, with, without your support, without your <coughs> commitment and, and, and passion to help 
uh, drive this. And, and, and people don't realize the amount of wave that uh, gets put in to not only uh, the left, but also about support or steer, uh, engaging with government and ministers, and engaging with other lefts and all of those things. And all basically done on a voluntary basis, you know, I mean, without that dedication and that commitment, I, I, I genuinely feel we wouldn't be where we are. And I know you've been a real asset to all of us, and you've been uh, on, on many occasions a wise counsel on, on, on events and things that we've stuck. So, you know, you're not going to go away, you're not going to miss you in the sense that you're going to go away from us. You'll be around, and I'm sure you'll be uh, equally championing the city meeting as you always do in whatever role. But I think on behalf of <coughs> You know, was all in, in the city region. Uh, I really appreciate and value what you contributed, and uh, we thank you so much for that. Phil, yeah, yeah. Phil, yeah. Phil, Phil, Phil you yeah, yeah, I, I mean, obviously, I, I echo, echo those um, sentiments, Chair. Um, I kind of, I kind of think um, there's, there's just a couple of things I'd like to add. I mean, um, just the, the, the you know, enormous amount of, of, of commitment that you, you've given to the, to the role. I think kind of big, for me, three things that, that stand out in my mind. I mean, just the, the process of setting up the left uh, from, from the standing start, when there was not much kind of guidance from the government about what we needed to do. I think your leadership in that has been great. The, the single growth deal, I mean, one of the, the, the best deals in the country. You know, I think that's a testament to your hard work and the devolution deal, your contribution to that, um, that really stand out. Uh, so I, I think, um, I think, You've, you've done a fantastic job, and I don't think there's any accident, but I think our left is one of the leading lefts in the whole country, and I think that, that stands to your leadership. So, you know, you will be um, badly missed, and I'd just like to add my um, thanks uh, for all your, your efforts over the last four years. Thank you. May I just sit there?
all in July. So look forward to seeing you there. Okay, thank you.